In this power-driven digital age that we live in, the importance of proper electrical connections can't be underestimated. Improper wiring not only causes electrical devices to function poorly, it also damages devices, appliances, and buildings. Bad connections are also a fire hazard, a risk never worth taking. At Cantex, our entire line of PVC electrical conduit, fittings, accessories, and boxes, including our PVC junction boxes, are backed by over 60 years of experience manufacturing quality American-made PVC electrical products. And with over 5,000 product SKUs, Cantex is a one-stop shop for PVC electrical products. The National Electrical Code, or NEC, dictates that no wiring splices are allowed outside of an approved enclosure. PVC junction boxes are one type of approved enclosure used to protect wire and cable connections. This video highlights the installation of Cantex PVC electrical junction boxes. What exactly is a junction box? Junction boxes are simple standard electrical boxes that house and protect the connections of two or more circuit cables or wires. Junction boxes are the communal meeting spot for electrical wires, where they connect before moving in different directions through conduit and other electrical fittings. Since PVC junction boxes are lighter and easier to install than NEC approved metal enclosures, they are a great option for protecting electrical connections with less work and less expense. All junction boxes must be covered and installed correctly in compliance with applicable electrical codes. National Electrical Code Article 314 and NEMA OS3 explain the guidelines for installing junction boxes. Always check all national and regional electrical guidelines before installing any PVC electrical product. All Cantex PVC junction boxes come with a PVC cover, zinc plated screws, and a neoprene gasket that must be used in order to achieve compliance with applicable building and electrical codes. The National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, finds the standards and ratings used in North America for various grades of electrical enclosures like junction boxes. The NEMA rating tells you a junction box is suitable for use in hazardous or non-hazardous locations and if it is for indoor or outdoor use. The rating also indicates how well the junction box is protected against oil, coolants, and corrosives. Cantex makes two types of PVC junction boxes. Our smaller molded PVC junction boxes come in 11 sizes and our larger fabricated PVC junction boxes are available in 5 sizes. Cantex molded junction boxes are UL Marine listed and NEMA rated for types 1, 3, 3S, 4, 4X, 5, 6, and 6P. Cantex's fabricated 14x14x6 14 by 14 by junction box is UL type 4X rated. All of the Cantex fabricated junction boxes are NEMA Type 1 rated. Junction box rating descriptions can be found in NEMA Standards Publications Number 250. Cantex manufactured junction boxes are rated for an ambient temperature of up to 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The compound used to manufacture our PVC junction boxes has a UL94V-0 flame rating. The Cantex PVC junction boxes connect effortlessly with our applicable PVC pipe and fittings and they can also be used with the electrical metal tubing, EMT, as long as proper NEMA OS3 and NEC Article 314 installation guidelines are followed along with all local codes. Wall installations for Cantex PVC junction boxes are simple, but must always be done in accordance with all national and regional electrical codes. Of course, all power must be turned off prior to installation. After the power is off, drill the amount of holes in the side of the junction box that are needed in the sizes needed for the conduit you are using. Next, mount the PVC junction box to a joist. After the box is mounted, mount your electrical connection device of choice, like the relay box pictured, to the inside of the junction box per the manufacturer's instructions. Next, using a dauber and the correct type of Cantex cement, indicated in the Cantex full line product catalog, attach the necessary PVC connection fittings of choice. Box adapters are used in this segment. Male terminal adapters are also often used as connection devices on PVC junction boxes with a lock nut or with a lock nut and washer for watertight applications. Installation is similar to the box adapter connection. However, the male terminal adapter is twisted into the box instead of glued. The lock nut, or in this case washer and lock nut, is then screwed onto the threading until secure. The conduit is then glued with the dauber and the correct type of Cantex cement to the other side of the terminal adapter. Similarly, attach the conduit to the connection fitting of your choice for using a dauber and cement, coating the inside of the connector fitting and the outside of the conduit. Next. Push wires through the conduit into the junction box to connect the electrical device according to the manufacturer's instructions to create a proper connection for the transfer of power in an NEC approved enclosure. Lastly, attach the cover with the screws and neoprene gasket provided by Cantex. The in-ground installation for Cantex PVC junction boxes is also simple, but always be sure to follow all national and regional electrical codes. Article 314-29 of the National Electrical Code states that listed junction boxes may be buried without excavating parts of buildings, sidewalks, other paving, or earth. 
Listed boxes can only be covered by gravel, light aggregate, or non-cohesive granulated soil if their location is effectively identified and accessible for excavation. The cover must be properly exposed and their box must be completely accessible. See Article 314 for all code details before installing. PVC junction boxes should never be installed in heavily trafficked areas where continued exposure to weight might break down their covers. The process for in-ground installation of a PVC junction box begins the same as a wall installation with drilling holes in the side of the box and cementing the PVC connection fittings. Once again, box adapters are used in this segment as the connection fittings. Next, create a trench for the conduit and junction box according to all electrical codes and place the junction box and the conduit in the ground. Then attach conduit to connection fittings with cement. Once again, mount the electrical connection device needed for your project, like the relay box picture, to the inside of the junction box and run wires to the conduit connecting them to the device according to the manufacturer's instructions to create a proper connection. Next, attach the cover and the screws and neoprene gasket provided. Lastly, bury the conduit and fill the space around the box with NEC code approved material leaving the cover exposed and easily accessible. If you want to learn more about Cantex PVC junction boxes or other PVC electrical boxes, fittings, or conduit, visit www.cantexinc.com.